Mark Rogers is an American reality television star, the most popular face from appearing in 10 seasons of the Discovery Channel's television show, Moonshiners, to date. So, where has this popular reality star been recently, and what has he been up to? Follow along to find out what happened to Mark Rogers from Moonshiners. Mark Rogers is a native of the sleepy town of Newport, Tennessee, USA. Born in the mid-1970s into a large family, not much information is available about his early years, educational background, or family history. However, it is known that Mark was partly raised by his extended family of 12 uncles, who were moonshiners. Spending so much time around them, he eventually developed an avid interest in the craft, making his first moonshine age just 8. Over time, Mark turned this avid interest into a lifelong passion, inventing exciting flavors through his one-of-a-kind brewing skills, producing mind-blowing moonshine. He trained under Popcorn Sutton as a still builder, steadily gaining more experience. Moonshiners is an American documentary drama produced by Magilla Entertainment. It is focused in the areas of the South and North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, and the Appalachian Mountains. It revolves around the lives of supposedly illegal moonshine producers in those areas, dramatizing their efforts and apparent law-breaking and evasion tactics. The television show premiere was on the 6th of December 2011 and to date has aired 11 seasons. The series released its 12th season on the 9th of November 2022. The series follows the lives of 12 individuals, each distilling and producing their own version of liquor in the aforementioned areas. The cast has included famous moonshiners such as Popcorn Sutton, Jim Tom, Stephen Ray, and Mark Rogers himself. A major aspect of the show is the efforts that these men put into evading the law since the activities of distilling moonshine, homebrew, white whiskey, and mash liquor is illegal in those states. Viewers get a thrill out of seeing the cast constantly evading police and the law during their illegal activities. Despite the dramatization of their efforts, local authorities say that the portrayal is not what it seems to be. Authorities in Virginia have claimed that there's actually no illegal moonshining going on, and have sent notices to the show's producers to place a disclaimer in the show regarding this, but have been ignored. Either way, viewers of the show seem to be enjoying this portrayal, evident in the increasing viewing numbers and the lengthy airing of the show which is almost in its 12th season. The show has a large audience in 150 countries, having aired an impressive 237 episodes. Mark Rogers was approached by the production team during the show's third season. Accepting the offer, he began distilling and producing moonshine for the cameras, making his face well known to viewers. Eric Maines is the other half of the incredible duo who are now the main cast members of Moonshiners. This duo is well known by viewers for their work together on screen and their friendship. Without further ado, let's find out more about the duo and how their friendship began. Eric Digger Maines was born sometime in 1974 in Newport. Not much is known about his early years, family history, and educational background, except that his father was the owner of the only local funeral home. And as a result, Eric spent a lot of time helping, fascinated by his father's work, and after embalming for years, he also became a licensed embalmer. Around the same time, he became enticed by local moonshiners, wishing to have the same occupation. He was heavily discouraged by his father since he was underage and the activity wasn't legal. However, Eric noticed how kind and respectful the moonshiners were to townspeople. He eagerly awaited his 18th birthday to finally venture into the world of moonshining and which eventually became his career. He spent his days as an embalmer at his father's funeral home and was a moonshiner by night. Quite an interesting double career. A young Eric looked up to Popcorn Sutton, a legendary moonshiner and bootlegger, to teach him the ways of the trade and over time became an expert in his own right. Unfortunately, Popcorn Sutton committed suicide in early 2019 after being faced with a number of charges in relation to his offenses in bootlegging and moonshining, which may have resulted in his imprisonment. The two have actually been best friends for over 30 years, having grown up in Newport and had a shared interest in the ways of local moonshiners. Coincidentally, they both worked under the legendary Popcorn Sutton and so gained a lot of experience in the field, as the latter played a pivotal role in their partnership and convinced Eric to join the cast of Moonshiners. Mark tried to convince his best friend to join him on the show, but Eric initially refused, being uncomfortable with the idea. He was finally convinced when he was told that the fourth season would be the last one since it would then be cancelled. Eric recalls, I thought the show was done for, so I said, 
If you want to do it, I'll do it this last season because it's about dead. The assurances they gave him were forgotten when the show picked up more viewers, and so was renewed for more seasons. The duo turned out to be a hit with the audience, who viewed their relationship as that of a married couple, constant bickering but with lots of love for each other. His best friend became a castmate and eventually a business partner, someone who shared his passion and enthusiasm for the craft of moonshining. Mark has made other television appearances over the years, in which he got to showcase his other skills. In 2018, he starred in the special Mark Rogers' The Will to Survive, alongside his cousin Chuck, labeled The Last American Mountain Man and Appalachian Moonshiner. Mark spent time in the wilderness equipped with little to no other resources, except the clothes he was wearing and an extra sharp knife. He aspired to teach his cousin a crash course in the craft of moonshine production in the Appalachian Mountains. He also appeared in another Discovery Channel television show, Master Distiller, alongside his best friend and partner, Eric Maines. The pair were part of the panel judging the aspiring distillers in the competition. Mark was presented with the opportunity to take his love of producing moonshine and turn it into a legal business. His lifelong dedication to the process earned him a partnership with Sugarland's Distillery to make his very own Mark Rogers American Peach Moonshine. It boasts of being the first 70 proof liquor produced at the Gatlinburg Distillery and the second moonshine in Sugarland's Legend series. The award-winning business, based in the Great Smoky Mountains, produced various drinks such as whiskey, cream liquor, rum, and moonshine. Their website boasts this one-of-a-kind moonshine from the legend and can even be purchased online. Mark joined his co-star, Stephen Ray Tickle, at the Sugarlands Shine Legend series. Just the second and third moonshiners to join the legendary series, they released their original moonshine, Mark Rogers' American Peach and Tickle's Dynamite Cinnamon Moonshine, respectively. Proud of the production, Mark said, In the words of our mentor Popcorn Sutton, this is some of the finest liquors that's ever been. Now it's our pleasure to share it with the rest of the world. We're really humbled that folks are eager to try it. The pair visited stores in South Carolina, Fort Mill, and Columbia with their moonshine. Fans got to meet the legends, take photos with them, get autographs, and take jars of the product home with them, signed by both television stars. Mark then partnered with Eric Maines to produce a unique spirit called Hazelnut Rum, which contains a range of ingredients including vanilla, cinnamon, honey, as well as real hazelnuts. Sugarland Distilling Company added the blend to their well-known series, followed by Digger Maines and Mark Ramsey's Apple Rye Brandy. Evidently, the legendary moonshiner is a man of many talents. Aside from his work as a moonshiner, Mark has a few hobbies that he keeps up when he's not on TV. Stay tuned for more. Although it is unclear where Mark learned his carpentry skills, he's shown them off plenty of times during the show, usually constructing wood structures that simplify his tasks during moonshining. In one particular episode, Mark and his partner Digger needed to make some troughs to cleverly reroute spring water. They planned to take the water from above and pass it through open pipes straight into their barrels. With the mash and distilling of their one-of-a-kind moonshine, Mark used gravity and the strategic placing of the pipes to get the water right where they needed it, calling this some redneck engineering. Mark puts his survival skills to work as a hunting guide. In his 30-plus years of making moonshine, Mark has spent so much time in the outdoors that he's a skilled survivalist and able to live off the land with his hunting skills as well as his fishing experience. What a fortunate guy! When the moonshiner isn't inventing new flavors or filming, he spends his time in his hometown of Newport, where in 2018 he opened a store called the Black Alley Granary, where he sells winemaking supplies and beer, amongst other items. Since the distilling business is at the moment still illegal in the state of Tennessee, he instead teaches classes on the crafts of wine and beer making. His wife owns a boutique called Fruit Jar Alley, specializing in clothing, both stores situated in their sleepy town. After learning about Mark's background, career, partnerships, and what he's been up to over the years, let's dive into another aspect of his personal life, his relationship history. Unfortunately, the lack of enough information on this expert moonshiner means that his relationship history remains unknown to the public. He hasn't been linked to anyone romantically, nor has there been any rumors concerning him and another individual. Unlike his co-star, Eric Digger Maines, he doesn't wear a wedding ring, indicating that he isn't married. In one of the episodes, Mark was foot-crushing the mash to be used in the moonshine, and complained of the lack of women, 
Recalling that in the past, women were the ones doing this task, it is unclear whether he lamented the lack of women in the Appalachian Mountains or in his life. Based on the above information, it's fair to assume that he isn't married, but we can't determine whether or not he's seeing anyone. Mark Rogers still lives in Newport, although he spends a fair amount of time in the Appalachian Mountains during his moonshining activities. According to his IMDb page, Mark has lived off the earth his entire life surviving in today's world by hunting, fishing, and distilling hard liquor. What a description. Aside from his television appearances, he keeps his home life fairly private and out of the spotlight. He barely has a presence on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. However, he shares an Instagram and Facebook page with his best friend and business partner, Eric Maines. The multi-talented Mark Rogers has many sources of income, his starring role in Moonshiners probably being the main source. Reportedly, Mark earns around $5,000 for each episode he appears in. To date, he's been in the main cast in 237 episodes, earning him an impressive sum of money. Funnily enough, he does what he does for a living on camera, and gets paid for it. Plus, he earns from other ongoing television and public appearances too. Another source of his earnings is his partnership with distilleries that sell his original flavors of moonshine, and which also pay him for endorsements. According to authoritative sources, the legendary moonshiner is worth well over $300,000 as of 2022. Evidently, this figure is very likely to increase in the near future, as Mark continues his moonshining activities and makes more television appearances. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.